Welcome to Knitting Daily, where yarn and fiber take center stage. Join knitting expert Uni Jang, crochet ace Kim Worker, spinning and weaving fiberista Liz Gibson, and favorite stitcher Shea Pendre. Get started with the world's most beautiful fibers and yarns. Meet trend-setting designers, improve or learn new skills, knit along with us, and make time for yarn every day. Hi, we're getting started with Deborah Knight from YarnMarket.com. The trick to simple knitting is all about the materials. And Deborah is here to tell us um, a few yarns that will make our, our design sing. Yes. Welcome. Well, thank you. It's great to be here. And if you've been looking at the magazines, the new fashion magazines, and what's on at the runways in Paris and Milan, you're seeing a lot of the nice big chunky knits. They're really popular in hats and capes. And so a lot of ladies are wanting to recreate these at home and I've brought in a couple of yarns to show you that are the bulky and super bulky weight and we'll start off with the bulky now that's um, a size 9 to an 11 needle and they're nice and fast to knit you can use a really simple pattern and you can make something in a day that you can wear that evening a scarf or a hat um, and then we've got the super bulkies. Now these take a larger needle, it's a much larger yarn, and it's anything above a size 11. So you see, you can get way up to a size 15, and I've even worked with a size 35. And I noticed these have rounded tips because a lot of the super bulkies are singles. That's um, right. Soft spuns, so yes. that helps with the splitting which sometimes you can exactly you you don't want the needle to be splitting the yarn now I've brought a few to show you that are really popular the first yeah. is this German yarn and it was created after a couple of years of research and testing and it's one of the highest ranked yarns in the world and then we've got the um, wool that is a nice ply we've got roving and we've also got a nice cashmere blend that mm. is both you know, thick and very elegant. Now, if you don't want to go to the right, if you don't want to do the thicker yarns and you still want elegance, you can go for a really simple pattern, but with a luxurious yarn like perhaps one of these cashmeres over here and the cashmere blend. We have a lovely mohair blend with a beautiful halo and sheen. There's always Kiviet. That is a popular favorite. And some nice recycled silk. And this is top quality recycled silk. Now remind silk. me what Kiviet is? That's the down of the muskox, the underbelly oh. of the Canadian Arctic muskox. We also have tinsel tape, which drapes beautifully for the simplest t-shirt or any very simple top. Now this is a fiber that I would not be, think of a fiber producing animal and it's very popular. Yes, this is the buffalo and it's 90% buffalo, 10% nylon, so it's soft and durable. It's produced in very small quantities, four hanks at a time. And one thing with the buffalo is its natural color is quite dark, and they over-dye it so you get very dark colors. Deborah, thank you so much for getting us started and showing how simple designs really can be accentuated by the yarn. And next up, we're going to Columbus, where Uni is going to talk to New York fashion designer Wen Lin Chia. She talks about transforming her runway designs into garments that knitters can make at home. Knitting Daily has been sponsored in part by YarnMarket.com, a global resource for over 600 yarns plus books, patterns, and other knitting supplies. YarnMarket.com. Knitting Daily. Make time for yarn every day. The projects and patterns from today's show, plus more ideas and projects, can be found on the web at KnittingDailyTV.com. This is show 210. Continue Knitting Daily every day by joining the online Knitting Daily community and receive a free newsletter five times a week filled with step-by-step -step techniques, inspiring reader-contributed stories, and free patterns. It's about knitting all the time. KnittingDaily.com